Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. In this clip we're looking at fitting the hinges on to our upcycled box. Um, so if we take a look here, here's a box and we've put two hinges on and we've mounted them externally. Now this is the most simple way of fi fixing them onto the box. There is an alternate way of fixing them where we actually cut them in here, but this clip is going to concentrate on flush mounting them on the back, which as I say, is a simpler um, method. So before we start, we need to have taken our box, we need to have finished all the final sanding, and we could have added wax. I haven't added wax to this, but that's the last stage. So I've, I've completed all my sanding, I'm happy with the finish on the box. I've put a small amount of masking tape around, and I've also looked at the box and decided from the grain, <coughs> excuse me, which I like and which I want as the front and which I want as the back. I've also made sure that my lid is lined up correctly. The first thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to take a steel ruler. The equipment I'm using is a steel ruler. I have a um, small PZ screwdriver, um, PZ1, and a small scriber or bradle. I've also got hinges, small hinges, eight screws and a tri-square. So the first thing I'm going to do is measure in and I'm going to fit them at 20 millimeters. So I'm going to draw a line there, I'll just make a mark, 20 millimeters from the edge. And I'm going to do the same there. Then I'm going to take the tri-square and I'm going to very lightly make marks. Obviously we've finished this box so we don't want to put heavy marks on it because they're going to have to be rubbed or sanded off. And I've made, if you can see there, two marks which are at 90 degrees. Using the tri-square I've ensured that they're 90 degrees. I'm then going to take my hinge and I'm going to mount it with the um, hinge part out and I'm going to mar mark it use my 90 degree there and then line up the um, wire of the hinge with the cut in the box. I'm then going to take a sharp pencil and make one, two, and the trick here is to not obviously let the box move. And you can see there, I think I'll just make those a bit clearer, that I've got the four marks there. Then I'm going to take my scriber and what I need to do is just, I'm not going to need a hammer, but I'm just going to put it onto each of the points and push down. You can use a bradle for this or a scriber. I just had a scriber to hand and I'm going to make four indentations into the box. So you can see there my line that I drew and my four indentations. Then I can place my screw back on and putting the small we've got to fit the hinge on, you can see that there, I'll focus on there, is a small um, countersunk screw and we can just pop those in the hole and put two of those in. We just if we put a little indentation in there and then we can let's start with one. You can see there that I've got one started off. It's probably best to get all of the screws in, this is always good practice, is to put all the screws, turn them in two or three turns, so I've put two in there, this one might need a little bit more push down for the indentation, and I don't know where you 
can't see that very clearly. So if you can see what I've done there is I've I've put all four screws in just lightly and that, that allows me some wiggle room on, on moving around and getting it absolutely perfectly lined up. So what I'm going to do then is just check my lining up of the um, hinge and then tighten down all four screws. Hope you can see that. And there you can see the hinge fitted. Once you've done that, keeping the box closed, don't allow it to move, just check that you've got these edges are flush and are fitting well and then we've got our mark here and you can just see that, the mark there and then we can place our second hinge mark with a pencil and so on and then it's a simply simple case of fitting both hinges so there we have it fitting hinges to the reclaimed timber box thank you for watching